and welcome back to Streaming Box Now. I should change the name of the YouTube channel, Streaming Box Now. It sounds cool, but I don't know if it's catchy. Maybe we should call it the best Android boxes. <laughs> I don't know. So here is the DQ6. If you guys didn't see the last episode, you missed out. Um, there's a blank screen of absolutely nothing. Uh, so there's the box back there in the back end. And I wanted to show you guys here is the, the device itself. It's not that bad. It's it, it's okay. It's it's not horrible. Um, we did find some bumps in the road on the last episode. So let's go ahead and jump straight into this, guys. Uh, let's come here and check this out. The interface, for one, reminds me of an NVIDIA Shield. But they customized it. This is a rooted device, so it's it's very, very customized. Now, if you come here to favorites, you're going to have all your stuff here that's favorited. So I'm going to come here to, let's just say, file link. And if I click it, you see the little check mark. If I hit back, notice it's going to be here on my list. Now, if I do hit that plus sign, I could also get to the exact same spot. And let's just say I uncheck it, back out, file link is gone. Now, same thing with your medias, same exact process. If you click on this, then you have access to your shortcuts or you can hit that plus sign. So it's not too bad. And then for your apps, I like the clean memory thing because when you cl clean it up, 25.6, it's doing its little thing. Moved it down to 24.7. You got your different wallpapers, your YouTube. It has all your different process on here. The only thing that I didn't find which is a big downer is um, download manager or files. You can't see what you re you downloaded um, off of uh, Google. So it's kind of weird how they locked it like that. But remember, because it is rooted, you could download some of this stuff so that way you could see it. Now it does have voice search and the remote that comes in here does not work. I could say everything in god's green earth and this thing will not record why because it has my most favorite remote of all time and if you're not reading my sarcasm i'm sorry but um, there is no remote so why even have that app especially a rooted device and look i'm hitting the back button <laughs> it's, i gotta hit the home button to get out <laughs> don't understand it but so here we go you got all your different apps and then you have your settings. Now, if you do come here to your settings, people are going to ask, well, what is it that you could actually do with this guy? So here is your settings. You could add another email account. You could set your device name, your networks, account sign in and your apps. Now, if you do come to apps, people are going to say, well, if you come here to see all apps, you're probably going to see your download manager, stuff like that. So notice how there is no download manager. There is no files. Now, if I do come to show system apps and I just come down here, you see Android setup, Android system, you see everything in here and I'm going to scroll down here. You see Chrome up there and here is download manager. So if I click on this, I get four stop disabled storage permission, clear cache. I don't see anything here to open it up. So yeah, it is it, very frustrating. You got your apps permission. Make sure you do turn these guys on. Uh, so it, it just depends what you're using here. So if you're using some of these apps, so storage, five apps of 18 allowed, uh, make sure like APK pure, if I download something, I'm going to need it. File link, same thing. You don't have to, you don't have to turn everything on, but this allows you to do updates. Now it does have other different stuff here. You know, again, you can go through them if you want special apps access. Here is some extra stuff here. Energy. Energy optimization, usage asset, uh, access, <laughs> notification access, display other apps, modify system settings, and picture in picture. Modify system setting. This permission allows an app to notify system updates, blah, blah, blah. Nobody cares. So we're going to come back here. We're going to go to device preferences. Now, from here, you got your display, you got your HDMI. Now, I'm kind of curious here if you do click on this, you can mess with the resolution, the color, the zoom, and the advanced settings. If you come down here, you got your about and it does tell you it's Android 10. You could restart the device from here. Also, you got your Bluetooth date and time language, keyboard sounds, inputs and storage. People are going to say, well, what if you go to storage? If I go here to external shared storage, it shows here all your stuff. So if I go to apps, it's going to it's going to just take me right back to apps. And that's 
pretty much it. I can't. I, I, I don't have access to it. Um, same thing with downloads, which is kind of interesting. I downloaded a couple things, but it shows zero. So if I come back here, you got screensaver, location, security, restrictions, accessibility. Let's check this out. You got your captions, text to speech, stuff like that. Pretty neat. You got your reset and advanced settings. Now, advanced settings, you got your default launcher, which is your lean back, and that's your only option that you got. Power key and performance dialogue. And then here, of course, you could reset the whole thing if you want. Now, remotes and accessories. Here, this is where you could you could pair up your Bluetooth. And that's pretty much it. Again, kind of weird how they don't have certain things. Um, kind of weird. And for some reason, when I hit the back button, it took me to file linked home button. <laughs> so there you go. So we're going to come here and we're going to go to good old, uh, YouTube. Let's check this one out. Now, remember, because it is rooted, you can change your launcher. This video is not for that. I'm just showing you what you get out of the box. So I just did a quick search of streaming box now, and it has all the different stuff. It does display 4k good so that's really good I, I i i that's awesome so we're gonna go ahead and click on this one uh we're gonna do the just one of the random videos so the first thing i like to do is pause it that's weird there is no pause button but okay <laughs> uh if i just click on it it looks like it just pauses that didn't look 4k so we're gonna click on more we're gonna hit quality and the quality shows ah oh, it shows 4k all right Let's click on the 4K again. Maybe it was just rendering and it's catching up. Okay. Yep. That's exactly what it was doing. It just snapped over and then it was rendering the quality. So the quality, uh, you you guys you guys be the judge of it. Like for me, this looks really good. I look super <laughs> super orange. I know I was having some lighting issues, but <laughs> I don't think I look that bad. I don't think you know what? I gotta try another video because I don't know if I look that bad let's go to let's do this one this is one of the the newer videos this one snapped into 4k actually pretty quick and that looks actually very very good and it's not i'm just letting it run no issues no nothing and it's playing very smooth and it's okay yeah so it, it it's pretty good so let me know what you guys think in in the comment section below um it looks like it works pretty decent um i know with youtube they have their own dedicated stuff and someone's gonna say well why don't you play this why don't you play that i can't test everything out there the safest way where it's i'm not gonna get hit with copyrights is using my own youtube channel because i own the content um but it looks like it was working pretty good pretty decent i'm gonna be testing out a lot out a little bit more and i'll give you guys some more insight on how it actually runs um, I don't think it's going to have any problems because it has four gigs of RAM and you have 32 gigs of internal memory. I think you're left with about 24 after all the bloatware and stuff, but it doesn't look like a bad device so far. Um, I hope you guys have really enjoyed this. Stay tuned to the next one because we're going to be talking a little bit more about what you could actually do with this thing and then some of the specs from top to bottom. You guys take care take care of each other and I'll see you guys soon. Thank you.